Hi everybody, welcome back to Tony Nicole. So yes, I am back with another segment. So I did tell y'all, you know, I wasn't gonna bore you, so I'm definitely not gonna bore you. Um, so as you can see, of course, I got my dad sitting here with me. Um, I show sure love that man, show sure love him. Um, but yeah, so pretty much today, you guys, I just wanted to step in and first and foremost, see how everyone's still holding up. Um, but mainly just to kind of talk about something a little bit different today, like, I really want to hit a topic about our dating in 2020. Hmm. Like, honestly, I don't even know where to start. Now, personally, for me, right at the moment, I'm okay. But as far as for just in general, you know, when it comes to um, dating in our society and just how a lot of things are really misinterpreted. Like, a lot of things are really not how they used to be like for example like old school love you know it was it was real love okay that means you stuck with the person no matter what um regardless of anything you stuck together you figured it out these days i mean one two little slip ups you know everybody's just ready to leave each other and go their separate ways instantly and what i mean by that of course if somebody do something to you you know as far as cheating or um, something that's really detrimental or something that really broke your heart of course walk away do you you feel me but as far as when it comes to simple stuff like for instance if the if your man didn't pick up the phone or okay he's not been doing the same things he's been doing talk to him you know that's another thing communication is so off like communication is so off like i just don't understand how hard is it to pick up a phone Tell somebody how you feel. Tell somebody what's up and just put it on the table and be real. Like, I don't understand how is that so hard. I just don't get that. And I feel like that's really a big problem with dating and talking to people, marriages, all of that. I feel like the communication is definitely not there. Like, I honestly feel that if you look at the form of communication and understand that it takes Two people to talk, you know what I'm saying? One person at a time. If you understand the statistics of it, you'll properly know how to communicate with each other, right? Okay, so we got that. That's number one. That's the real problem. So I would say the second problem would just be so quick to judge somebody, you know? Because, of course, we live in a society where um, we're so hooked on Instagram, okay? So if you don't have you know, the boobs or you don't have the bottom, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, you know, you just kind of get put into another category on social media, you know, and sometimes people really take that to the head as far as trying to live up to things and people that they see on social media and trying to be like someone else. No, be you. Don't even worry about that. And even for the men, the flex game, chill out, do you, stay humble, stay grounded, you feel me? But anyway, that goes to say the second part, you know, of dealing with dating is just being accept, you know, being acceptive to other people. Like, accept the fact that when you meet someone, meet them where they're at. Okay, of course you want to meet someone who has a lot in common with you. Okay, like your goals, morals, ethnics, work ethics, you know, stuff like that. Of course that's important. But don't just brush someone off because they're riding in a nice car you aren't or you ride in a nice car they aren't or, you know, your job may pay more. No, those are small things that you two together, like, you know, once you get to that level, that can be worked on. And if you really are, you know, dealing with somebody, push them, help them, motivate them. You know what I'm saying? There's no point of writing someone off because of certain things like that. Um, I would say number three for dating in 2020 it would seriously have to be the consistency because I hear this so much. Ladies, I know y'all probably like, ding, 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 ding. Yes, consistency, okay? I mean, it even happens with men because I have a lot of boy cousins. So, I mean, it even happens where I've heard a lot of different stories how women are inconsistent, you know? But I'm very consistent on my end. But I have had, you know, two sides of the field when it comes to... um you know, dating people that are consistent and dating people that ain't consistent. But either way, long story short, that plays a huge part in the dating society because a lot of people really get ghosted and cut off, you know, after a couple of minor days or months or so because the vibe is just not there, the chemistry is just not there. And, you know, it's just it's just kind of a dead end at that point. It's, it's no reason to, 
you know keep it going but yeah i would definitely say inconsistency because what leads to someone getting ghosted or someone not being um you know kind of having that same vibe and chemistry as you is just because you know it just don't click for one or probably they haven't been consistent enough to be around you for you to be able to understand them and and how they move how they think and you know their vibe so i would say that's definitely number three um number four when it comes to dating i would just say um the problem i don't i don't really know if there's another issue between like i said inconsistency communication um you know and just supporting the other person you know regardless of you know now i'm not saying come into you know a dating situation and you're just like okay let me just it just appears because sometimes you meet people and you just like hey i'm really feeling this person you know i'm gonna hey what's up you know but then sometimes you kind of have situations where you're like i'm not really mm, so mm, you know you don't really give it y'all in some of words so i mean it's really all an internal feeling but i do feel like when it comes to dating in 2020 i do feel like more people need to value themselves like women need to respect themselves i do feel like um we need to stop allowing men to do certain things and as a woman you need to stop allowing men to do certain things okay and even for men stop allowing women to do certain things to y'all you know because a lot of stuff like i said i see both sides you know i have friends girlfriends and then i also have you know um cousins my my boy cousins so i see both sides of everything you know and it's sometimes the stuff i hear that our women you know are out here doing it's just like you know, you make a name for the women who are trying to actually, you know, be a rare breed and do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then you got those men who are messing it up for the good men. So like I said, it all works a lot of different ways. But I feel individually, if you stay true to yourself, you know what I'm saying? And you have a good spirit and you're at peace with yourself. Really, you can vibe with anyone and figure out if stuff will work or if it won't work, you know. So that's another thing. If you are one of those people like me who I'm a people person, I can really read and understand people and catch a vibe quickly. I feel like that really does help. But y'all, I just don't know. I just feel like 2020 has been a lot. But I also feel the dating between last year, the years before, and now is just, we got to do better. So long story short, I want to hear your opinion. I definitely want to make this a podcast so that I can get different opinions, okay? Because again, this is coming from someone who, you know, I am single, but I'm happily in a spot, you know, dealing with a particular person. But then I also want to, you know, hear it from someone else who maybe is in a relationship or someone who is single and not dealing with anyone and how they're feeling about, you know, dating and stuff and how a married person, you know, would look at it during that time different from this time of dating, you know, because I can say if you get single now, you're probably going to be single for a while, especially if you were married, coming back onto the market. Oh, my goodness. Good luck. Hmm. But yeah, that was just a little interesting topic that I felt like I needed to discuss. But hey, that's my opinion. I can't wait to hear yours. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will surely see y'all next time. Bye.